Do you want to learn how to stream your Nintendo Switch over to Twitch? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you exactly that. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find this video and comment down below spooky gang to make sure that you're part of the family but do you guys ever wonder where all these professional streamers get all their cool overlays alerts and emotes from a lot of them are getting it from own.tv own has everything you could possibly want for your twitch stream they have hundreds of different overlays alerts panels and even pre-built subscriber emotes so that way anytime that someone subs to you on twitch they get access to a collection of different emotes my favorite thing about owned is that they have so many different affordable packages so that way you can just buy the package they'll give you so many different overlays to choose from the packages include transitions alerts webcam overlays and everything you could possibly need if you guys want to buy any kind of stream overlays i'll leave the link in the description down below first things first if you guys have a switch light unfortunately you can't stream it the hardware capabilities for the switch light and not having a port to be able to plug into a dock is what makes it so you can't stream from your switch light so if you guys want to stream your switch i would recommend selling your switch light and just getting a regular switch because otherwise you're not going to be able to stream it right now but if you guys have a regular switch you're going to need to get your hands on a capture card like this and then we can start streaming it to twitch i'm going to explain how to use this capture card with our nintendo switch in order to stream it because you can't natively stream directly from the switch right now there's just no way to do it so this is the only way to stream your switch to twitch so if you guys need one of these capture cards i'll leave everything linked in the description down below but let me explain how to set this bad boy up so take the HDMI cable, plug it into your Switch, and then plug the other end of the cable into the HDMI in port of your capture card because you're going to send it to the capture card. Now you'll see that there's a little micro USB on the Elgato. You plug that into your computer. That's where the video footage is going to be sent. So actually, that HDMI out on the Elgato really doesn't matter if you are streaming from your computer monitor because that's where the video is going to be coming out. But if you want to stream it to a TV or something that's not your computer monitor, then that's when you would take an HDMI cable and plug it from the HDMI out of the Elgato, and then you would plug that into a TV. So if you want to like on the big screen, then you go ahead and do that. So that way you can both see it on your computer, which is getting recorded, as well as having it on the TV. So now that we have our capture card successfully hooked up, we have two different choices. We can either play our Switch off of our computer monitor, because if you're gonna be streaming at your computer anyways, you know, you might wanna just play on your computer monitor, or we can take that HDMI cable, plug it into HDMI out of the capture card and put it into a TV instead of a computer monitor. So I'll show you how to do it off of your computer monitor first, and then after that, I'll be showing you how you can play it on your TV. If you just want to play off your TV, then you don't need to do any of the game capture software with Elgato that I mentioned in this video. However, you do need to know how to use Streamlabs OBS, so I'll leave a tutorial video in the top right corner because you're going to need to know how to use it if you want to start streaming. So now that we've gotten all that taken out of the way, if you want to stream off your computer monitor, keep watching. If you don't want to stream off your computer monitor and you want to stream off your TV, then skip to this time in the video right here. All right, so now that we have the capture card plugged in, when you got your your capture card you should have gotten some software if you didn't just google elgato game capture hd software and it should give you something like this so we're going to go ahead and open up our game capture hd which is this piece of software right here you can see that it recognizes our device game capture hd 60s is the model i'm using you can use the plus if you'd like right now it's capturing our switch so all i have to do grab my switch controllers and you can see that we're moving around and now let's just say continue can see that it's picking it up so that's all good and great so that's half the battle so now that we have our game captured and by the way if you want to mess with some settings click this little cog wheel right here and then you're going to have a bunch of different settings so if you're having trouble getting the picture going up uh, you can mess with all this stuff here here are my settings if that helps for your audio input you can change it to like 1080p you can make it high definition you can change the quality uh, you can do a whole bunch of other stuff mainly this comes down to when you're using like retro games but if you're having any trouble mess around with these settings and, and tweak it until you get what you like you can also mess around with the picture the audio you can make different profiles so like if you have like your retro stuff plugged and you want a different profile you can go ahead and switch in through there once we have this set up you're going to want to make it full screen so you just right click this little area here enter full screen and then you still have these annoying stuff on the side just right click it again hide sidebar so now that we have this let's head over into our streaming software okay now that we have streamlabs obs all set up and plugged in i'm going to have this on a nice blank slate for you so this is a brand new scene so in order to capture our game on our nintendo switch and our capture card let's go ahead and add a new source and then we're going to go ahead and do a window capture. I believe you could use a game capture as well, but I'm going to do window capture for this. So go ahead, open up a window capture, add the source. We're going to add a new source where let's call it Elgato Game Capture, because this is going to work for anything that's plugged into our Elgato. So we're going to add the source 
And then now uh, we're going to change our window and change it to Game Capture HD right here, this little bad boy. And right now we're going to hit Done. And right now, there you go. That's our that's our game. If you wanted to just stream like that, then you could just hit go ahead and go live and then, you know, start streaming, you know, all that stuff. Make sure you got your game audio. Uh, every time I move, you can see the little uh, action happening by the speaker right there. So we're getting our game audio. If you're not getting game audio, go ahead, go to settings, go to audio, and then you can go ahead and change whatever your desktop audio device is until you get the game audio uh, capture source. Now let's go ahead and set up our webcam. Uh, so let's just go ahead plus. Uh, video capture device if you got a webcam add source and then here's my webcam right here and then we'll add the source and then we can make it smaller and then we can go ahead and put it in the corner we can start up our game and we'll just start it up as you can see our game audio is going through right there and now all you have to do in order to start streaming is make sure that you're logged in with your twitch account so go to the settings and then go to stream Make sure you're logged in here. You don't have to worry about a stream key or anything like that. There's been an update for Twitch and Streamlabs, so it's much, much easier than the old way. And now once you're logged in, just go to the bottom right corner, hit go live, and then now it says stream to Twitch. Put in your title, put in your Twitch game, confirm and go live, and now you're streaming on Twitch. So that method we just did is if you want to use one of your monitors and you don't have an external TV in order to broadcast to. I'm going to show you one more way on how to use this capture card if you have an external TV and you're not playing off your computer monitor, but you're playing this on an additional TV. I already have this footage recorded for an Xbox 360. It's the same exact process, but let's take a look on how to do it. So instead of doing a window capture, we can't do a window capture because we don't have a window to capture the footage. So we're just going to capture it directly from the capture card by going to video capture device. You can see right here it says capture cards by Elgato. That's exactly what we want. And now we click add source. And then I'm going to add a new source. We'll call it Elgato add source. And then device game capture HD60S. As you can see it got captured. However, it's not full screen. So what I want to do is click resolution FPS type, do custom, change it to 1920 by 1080p. And then click done. And now you can see it's full screen. So webcam, same process we did for the other one. Let me just bring it up. By the way, uh, this is order of operations. So right now, if the Elgato is below the webcam, then you're not going to see it. But if the Elgato is above the webcam, you're not going to see it. So anything that you want to appear and overlap, make sure it's on top of each other. But I'll just put my webcam here, do a little trimmy trim. When you add your video capture device, by the way, if it's not going through your speakers, you don't see anything, scroll down. That's because it's made its own little mixer thing right here. So you're going to control your game volume through this little slider right here through the Elgato capture card because it came its own audio source when you did the video capture input device. So any like video input device that you do like the webcam, it's going to have its own slider too in case that would be the mic that you choose if it's like a webcam mic combo. Just in case you're getting like echoes or anything or you want to change the volume of it, you would just go and change the slider right here. And then you would just go live the same way you would the first method. If you guys are looking to spice up your stream, I got so many other videos on this channel. We got different streaming essential playlists and how to set everything up from PayPal donations to the best gaming laptops to how to set up everything you could possibly do customizing got a playlist on just streaming your consoles for Xbox for Nintendo Switch streaming from your phone even how to grow your stream basically everything you could possibly ask for we got it on this channel so feel free to check out the rest of the videos on this channel I guarantee they're going to teach you something and it's gonna help you in your streaming adventures so feel free to check them out I hope this video helped if it did drop a like on the video to help other people find this video remember to comment spooky gang thanks to all my patrons for helping make this dream a reality i appreciate you guys let's see you in the next video